Hey guys, in this video we are going to make this animation in 3ds Max. I am going to use this excavator for this tutorial. This excavator contains hydraulics and I will animate these. I am going to rig these so that they will work on their own when we animate this excavator. So let's start. I downloaded this model from internet from website name archives3d.net you can download it from there when you download this model this model will come in single piece so first you have to detach all the moving parts so that they can move freely and we can rig them according to their movement I am going to rig only the arm, so let's isolate it. Press shift Q to isolate it. We need to adjust the pivot of these moving parts at the point where they are going to move or rotate. So let's start. Go to hierarchy, click affect pivot only and then adjust the pivot at the point of the rotation. I am going to adjust it at this point because this is going to rotate at this point only. And then correct it from the top. Same for this upper part, move the pivot at the position it's going to be rotated. Just here, correct. And now we are going to correct it from the top. Do same for all these remaining parts Now we are ready for rigging. I am going to rig only the upper two hydraulics in this tutorial. Go to helpers and select a dummy and create dummy at the point of the rotation of these hydraulics. Align them at the pivot of these objects. You can move it to the location or use a line tool for this purpose. Select and click on the object and click OK. Do same for the other one.
now we need to link these object so select the linking tool and then link them according to their movement i'm going to link dummy to the base and hydraulic to the dummy follow the same step for the other hydraulics so they can move with each other when going to move the dummy only the hydraulics move if i going to move hydraulics only hydraulics move not the dummy same for this link this to the arm because it is going to be moved with the arm same with this hydraulic link it to this arm i am going to link all of these remaining to the last arm because i am not going to rig these in this tutorial so just select them and link to the arm now we need controller for the motion go to motion select the object and go to assign controller select rotation controller and pick the look at constraint for look at target select the upper part when you select it it get rotated to correct it just go to here and select these we need to adjust it pivot so go to hierarchy and now we are going to rotate it if we rotate the pivot the object is going to rotate and adjust it exactly now we are going to do same with this upper arm going to motion selecting the rotation and then look at constraint and for the look at target we are going to select dummy not the lower part we are going to select dummy at this time uh, same is going to be happen with this object so we will correct it by adjusting it to void as you see this arm is short so we are going to make this arm long by editing it just select the vertex and move them down there and it's done and you can see the lower part is moving with it same as the hydraulic works now do same with the other one
hydraulic part is done so we move to the rigging part for this we go to the systems and select a bone and create bone from the point of their moment move this bone to the center of the arm make it sure it at the exact center of the arm go to animation and add a ik solver no use ik limb solver now link these arms to these bone now if i move this point pull arm going to move with it so you can see it's moving just like a uh, excavator and that's it we done the rigging i hope you like this tutorial please like this video and subscribe my channel